Hello and welcome back to the another video of the Java tutorial series. So today in this video we will be covering uh, our next functionality of the project that is the show menu project. So this is the main uh, method which will hold the all uh, functionality of our banking application. It will call all those methods which you have uh, which we have uh, written in our previous videos that is withdraw the previous transaction and the deposit and it will perform all those uh, functionality of our pro project i guess okay banking application okay so in this video we will be writing this show menu method okay so for this i will cover uh, i will write another uh, method named show menu and this may uh, this method will does doesn't require any uh, parameter and, and it doesn't uh, return anything okay uh, so inside this uh, menu show menu uh, show menu function will, uh, method will uh, basically do all those printing part printing stuff inside that console okay so for that uh, i will be carrying one uh, declaring one character okay uh, so character variable name as option and i will uh, initially uh, write it as slash zero okay so that represents null okay again uh, oh, I, I guess I, I have declared the scanner class over here uh, so that is inside this main uh, another class so i have to i guess i have to declare one scanner i guess scanner sc is equals to new scanner system dot in okay so i have imported the scanner over here and now uh, I have to create that console stuff here. Okay, you now so I will just oops, sorry, I will just shout one thing that is welcome plus customer name. So this time, uh, IntelliJ IDEA is telling me that, hey, what is customer name? You have, it doesn't have declared it, it anywhere, okay? So for that, uh, I will be uh, creating one variable over here. That is of type, uh, this is customer name. So that is of type string because customer name is in string format. And I will write that same customer name. And one more thing I will be requiring is as customer ID. Okay, and I will also declare it as string customer ID. Okay, uh, so whenever the object of this class is created, uh, I I want the user to give me the customer name and the customer ID so that I can print that name and the customer ID over here. Okay. So for this, one more concept was there of the of oops object object oriented programming language that is constructor. So what basically constructor does is it will get automatically called whenever the object of the class is created. Okay, whenever I create the object of the class, the, the constructor is getting called, and the constructor name should always be as same as that of the class name. Okay, so what is the class name? Bank account and this constructor should accept the two parameters that is the customer name and the customer id so that we can uh, print that uh, customer name and customer id inside the console okay and so the name should be in the format of string string name i will write c name because that is the proper convention that is the customer name and i will write string c id that is the customer id Okay, don't worry about this constructor uh, for till now, uh, for just now uh, know that whenever we create the object of that class the constructor get automatically called okay so this line number 15 to 17 and inside this constructor whatever i write it will get automatically called whenever we create object of this bank account uh, class okay so whenever i create this uh, object of this class i just want to assign the customer name uh, as the C name, which is in, given in, input by the C name by the user, and 
I just want that customer ID should be equals to the CID. Okay, so that is pretty much about this constructor, I guess. And now we can move to the towards our show menu function and start implementing this. Okay, so I will write again one south statement over here should be there, and I will write your ID is. This and I will write customer ID. Okay, so after this, I want a new line should get printed on the console. So for that, I will write just south with empty, nothing should be there. So that the new line should be there and which looks nice. Okay, and again, I want one option number A. So we have discussed over here the options of that our uh, application that is deposit, withdraw, we get press and reaction and the show menu. Okay, so we will be covering that over here. We will write check balance. Okay, uh, then uh, again one more functionality should be there that is b dot deposit. If the user want to deposit some money inside this account, and again C is withdraw. D R A W withdraw, and again one more south statement, and now option number D to get the previous RAM transaction okay and now last option if user want to get exit from this our application we want our user to click e so that we can exit from our application and so now one thing should you should notice this show menu method sure will display all the these steps inside the console okay and we don't want the user to get uh, multiple times click on this run button run button and execute over this code again and again so we can what we can do is we can provide one uh, loop to the user wherein user can uh, loop iterate or iterate this functionalities or use this functionalities again and again uh, as much time he want and whenever a user has done with all the uh, application uses and then simply user can type e to exit from our application okay so for this i will be using one do while loop and inside do i will just first of all i will print one statement so it will look nice okay uh, and then one more south statement should be there which will tell the user to enter the option okay enter the option and after that one more south statement should be there uh, this line number 60 and uh, line number 62 is just used for the uh, getting that uh, console such a nice look okay and after that i will be doing option is equals to scan uh, sc is the object sorry sc dot next dot carat index zero and i will be doing two i guess i can't do this here okay let it be we will cover in the next upcoming video so in this way uh, in this part i have taken one uh, input from the user as a string and i will be returning the first character of that string okay uh, so i have declared here the character as a here op option and i storing that user input inside this option and so user can input e d c a b a b c d e any option that user user want that gets stored inside this option variable okay so now inside this i will create one switch and so, so for switch i will be passing option as a parameter so we have covered switch i hope you guys are remember this how switch works and how what is switch okay 
so we will be carrying one case for first case we will be passing a we will be writing the functionality if the user clicks a that is the check balance okay for that i will come inside this case and i will first of all print this line okay so this line is basically just to give that nice look to our application okay so again inside that i will write shout that is system dot out dot print element and i will return uh, simply print balance it's and i will concat it with balance okay and uh, at last i will be printing again this just to give our application a nice look and i will print one out statement so that one extra line should be there between uh, the switch next case okay so after that this is pretty much about the check balance i will just write drek back and for the next case we have case number b if the user given as b and i will just copy this statement over here just to give that oops sorry copy oh shit sorry guys b okay and what is the b, b part uh, b part is the deposit okay so when the user gives input as b we have to deposit the amount inside our uh, account okay so shout the user enter the amount to deposit okay so after this i will again print this line so that it will look nicer in our application okay hmm. now what i can do is int amount i will declare one variable name as amount and using sc dot next int i will receive that in input from the user and i will call deposit method inside this and we will pass that amount value to the deposit function deposit method okay and after that i will just print one new line and i guess that that is the pretty much i have to do inside this case number b right so what i have done i have uh, printed this on the console and i have taken one input from the user and showed it inside the amount variable and i have passed that amount variable to the deposit method and we have written the, the deposit method over here here you can see and this deposit method will update the balance of the um, uh, in our uh, account and update the previous transaction value also okay so after that moving forward to the case number c case c okay so what is case c withdraw okay so we have to implement the withdraw functionality over here so i will just simply uh, copy this and paste over paste it over here enter the amount to withdraw okay after that uh, again i will create one variable name amount to because amount is declared over above already declared above sc dot next int and for doing the withdraw stuff we have written one method withdraw and it will accept one parameter name as amount so we are passing that amount that that needs to be withdraw from our account and then again i will simply just print a new line so that it looks nice in the console and i guess this is pretty much we have to do inside this case okay so our next case is case d and let me just look 
what we have to do KST that is a previous transaction uh, we have to perform the previous transaction inside this case and again I will just copy this because this is stuff that I required every time okay and inside this I don't require this because I don't need to print anything inside the console or getting input from the user that's why and uh, inside this we, I will call the get previous transaction method and this call will be uh, go to here to this method get previous transaction and this method will check uh, this condition and according to that it will print that corresponding statement okay over here okay so I guess this is the pretty much we have to do inside this case and after that I will just print one new line and I will break this condition okay now I have to write again one more condition that is the E condition that is in exit condition uh, what if the user write E okay so in that case user want to get exit from this loop so we will simply just print this statement and after this statement we will do break okay and this is all we have handled all those cases and we will sorry one default case which we will handle and inside default case uh, we should do print something like when we'll get a default condition get hit when the user will enter uh, doesn't uh, enter a b c d e and other characters okay so in that case we just have to print invalid option please try again okay and I will simply create this okay so I guess you, this is pretty much we have to do inside the switch okay so we have implemented this switch after that I will write while because this is the do while loop and inside while I will check the options value should not be equals to character E because if it is a E that that means user don't want to use our application uh, anymore any more and user want to exit our from our application okay so this is pretty much about the show menu I guess we have done let me just zoom out so that you can see whole method inside one view uh, okay I guess this is the and one one pretty simple mistake was there inside this method I want you to think about it and let me know and we will also cover that inside in our next uh, video and we will try to rectify that error in, which is inside this to do while loop okay so for this video this is pretty much we have done okay so in this next in our next video we will continue this project and we will try to implement this project thank you for watching this video